going on everybody um had a lot of questions lately about where i'm at if the videos have stopped um i haven't worked in two and a half months so uh just kind of been chilling spending money um <laughs> uh, it's a whole nother story i i came into some money so anyway uh uh I don't know if the camera's catching it behind me, but bought a trailer. It is a Mac step deck. And uh, still got Bella, of course. She's right here. I'm gonna flip this around so I can actually see what I'm recording. Um, Mac step deck. Uh, been trying to get it put together and waiting on a plate. I uh, picked it up in January and put the ramps on it. It's a sliding spread, but I'm gonna probably have it fixed and have a uh, lift axle brackets put on this front axle and uh, a floater put on the back because it didn't come with a floater. This was the only one I could find on the ground anywhere in the country. Everything else was on order. Uh, it came with those toolboxes, got other toolboxes, uh actually bought those two in there aren't mine the other six are because i actually bought six of, them of the wrong size because uh the flatbeds you know got a van over here it's sold that's eric's but the uh the flatbeds use a 24 inch deep box height wise and the step deck has to use an 18 to keep it away from the ground so um, I was actually having trouble finding the 18s with cam locks on them. I'm sure you can see them on the camera there. Zoom in, pardon the truck going by. But uh, yeah, so um, I happened to come across the cam lock boxes for the 18s, so I went ahead and bought them. So uh, I actually. We're going to be switching all the flatbeds to the cam lock boxes and even they're mine i just gave them to eric so uh anyway 2022 can't remember if it's a 21 or a 22 everything's titled weird these days because of the everything sitting around or the date it was made or whatever i uh actually oh I'm falling over rocks um Bought another vehicle, and you may have probably just caught a glimpse of old Jolene here. She's gone through some changes, but I bought another vehicle, and it was built in December of 21, but it is a 21. Uh, I don't have it. It's up in Pennsylvania. Um, I uh, hauled it up there this past week, and because I took CJ back up to, she's now Miss Truck and Life. We are officially divorced, so um, took it up there for her to use because I bought it mainly to haul CJ around, and It's just better with the heat coming and stuff. We had some issues with the camper because I'm just living in the camper over that way. And I um, had some issues and I was worried about them. So I asked her if I could bring him back up there. She, of course, said, yeah, she's been missing him. So I took him back up there. So uh, it's a 2021 Durango. That's basically a 22. So I uh, bought it brand new. And I bought some other toys that are over at the camper. Um, if you want to see them, drop a comment, let me know. Uh, I'm trying not to brag because that's not really who I am. It's just midlife crisis, I guess, and went on a spending spree. So uh, now this, this is business. And I know this is what most of you all, my subscribers, are here for. So uh, wanted to let you know I'm alive and well. Um, I don't have a dunnage rack, hence all the 4x4s. And this setup here I was working on, uh, trying to put together specs to have a dunnage rack built that will go in these stake pockets and hold these, this dunnage, but I still had to be able to clear the ramps because as you can see, this came from the factory with the pins, pin holes, pin, pin grooves, I don't know what you call them. But anyway, um, you got the controls for the sliding spread and I left that open last time I was here. Um, it's, uh, I want to say it's 90,000. Let me double check. It's 80,000. 80,000. Um, like I said, sliding spread. 
So when you flip the lever, it overextends the bags. It actually picks this axle up off the ground and then you can slide it in there. Um, that's mainly a California thing. And as I've told you all before, I don't go to California. So uh, I'm going to have it fixed. As in fixed as in affixed, I guess I should say, uh, stationary or just leave it the way it is and have the valves put on it that I want. But um, I was moving all them toolboxes, I'm sweating like crazy, this hat's soaked. But anyway, um, and then I'm going to have toolboxes mounted on both sides here. So um, I got these two toolboxes up here and then I'm gonna have another one put right there when they do the uh whatever you want to call it conversion or whatever um you can probably see the wires hanging down there and the lights laying there that's because i was moving everything around i was going to move these lights to use the dunnage rack that i ordered with the ramp bracket excuse me but uh i just decided to screw it so i just need to put the lights back in these brackets because they just they're just bolted up there we we're gonna move them and I decided not to. So, um, still waiting on a plate on this thing. That's the biggest reason why it's not working right now. I've been ready to go back to work for a while and uh, I had issues with uh, a portion plate on Bella. Changed out my lights in the back of the cab. I come across those and they look pretty cool during the day, but I haven't even seen them at night yet. <laughs> Bella's been sitting in this spot right here for over a month and she was sitting over there uh for over a month so um but anyway we had some trouble with the apportioned plate and i still had some residual and was paying on it and because they were being a pain in my ass i just went ahead and paid bell off so she paid off and got the title got a plate and trucking life i mean that's this kind of stuff that i really I just really haven't felt like uploading, doing any editing mainly. So um, I'm kind of getting back with it. I, I, well, to be honest with you, my mental state hasn't been great. So um, trying to get out of a funk and get back with it and get some editing done and uh, maybe do some other stuff. I bought another bike. If you want to see that, I'll show it to you. Um, it's a Harley. Uh, drop a comment let me know and uh, maybe do some we're in Houston we got the RV park over there RV resort uh, so it's pretty cool and I bought a car two-door car with a Hemi so it gives you some sort of idea what it is but then old Jolene since she's here I'll go ahead and show you her she's gone through some change and uh, uh, we're running 35 1250s on 20s uh, I don't even remember the name of the bumper. It's not a ranch hand bumper, but uh, it's similar. If you're familiar with ranch hand, and uh, we did the back bumper too. And uh, here's the back bumper. And I have all the black emblems. I just need to get them changed out. Uh, while I'm back here, I'll show you this real quick. I just did this last night. This is the decked system. Keep all my crap in. Pretty sweet. And what was I just gonna show you? Oh, that's what it was. This is a, these just pull out, so that's the only thing I did yet, because I gotta get some floss or something. And been waiting for it to warm up a little bit. It's been chilly down here in Texas to get all them pulled off because I, I have all them emblems. And I got a plate holder that actually goes in there. I'm gonna take that plate off of there. Which I could probably do that. I'm just here waiting on Eric. We got to work on the other step deck, his step deck. So he's getting parts and stuff, but uh, got a plate holder. Yeah, I'll just show it to you. I know it's windy out here. I don't know if the phone's picking it up or not, but there's the plate holder. It's made by Kurt, believe it or not. I didn't, I didn't think anybody made it, and this is heavy. This is probably eight or 10 pounds, but it uh, goes in that. Bounce it off my door here. Goes in that holder. 
I don't have to put a sleeve in there because it's two and a half, just like the back one is, but uh, I don't know. Might not be your thing, but I uh, am tired of looking at that hole. And uh, that plate being on the front, it's bolted there, so I'm going to unbolt it and bolt it to this this deal here, and then I won't have to stare at that hole. Um, thought about putting a winch on it, but honestly, I'll never use it. So, uh, there's that. And uh, one thing I wanted to mention about this is we I had to put a leveling kit on. I didn't quite get the offset right on the tires. These are a positive six, and a buddy of mine did tires at the same time, and I should have done what he did. Uh, and did a positive 20 and that would have pushed them in a little bit as you can see they stick out just a little bit it's not too bad i'm i'm okay with it but uh yeah as you can see 35 12 50 20 uh as you also can see black rhino wheels these were sold out everywhere discount tire actually got them and they had to get one from the west coast but uh, i had a little bit of rubbing in the back i had to take that little piece off right there but outside of that i had a little rubbing right there on the plastic so I went ahead and had a uh, puck spacer put in there. Uh, four wheel parts here in Houston did that. And I have a Carly pin top suspension leveling three, three and a quarter. I think it's a three and a quarter. I don't think it's technically a leveling kit, but anyway. Um, long story short, I ordered these tires, wheels and tires, the place I ordered them from, didn't have them. They were on back order. Didn't know when they were gonna get them discount tire had them well to cancel the order they wanted 250 dollar a restocking fee and i was like no i'm not gonna do that what else you got so we went back and forth and ultimately i ordered the leveling kit for or the lift kit whatever you want to call it so um it too is on back order but uh i did the bumpers first and it looked kind of weird so i wanted to get wheels and tires on it so um if you're here for the truck and stuff uh we're going to be going back trucking actually this coming monday i'll try and remember to get something recorded don't have anything planned as of yet i won't be taking this i'll be taking the flatbed i was pulling um i have some oh yeah that's another thing i bought about that i just seen it over there so that's a 24 foot enclosed car trailer um i actually just got done unloading all them toolboxes and the chains and binders and everything for this thing and tarps uh, when you run a step deck, you have to run 10 foot tarps, 10 foot drops. Uh, it actually is cut for the neck right here. It's eight foot up there and then 10 foot here to cover the, if you gotta, you know, load the straight across or whatever so you can get the whole thing tarped. But uh, if you remember my old videos, that's Jeremy Newell's truck right there. So uh, not quite sure where he's at, but uh, none of my business either. So anyway, that's the story. Uh, I'm alive and well uh my mental state's getting better i i don't want really want to talk about it because it's just i mean it's nothing really per se wrong i miss my dad sometimes and uh maybe with the divorce with mrs truck and life had something to do with it i don't know but um working through it and actually now that cj's back uh with his mom and i don't have to worry about him during the day because like now when i was here um doing stuff with him i'd have to leave him in the truck with the ac on because uh, i can't have him out here running around the truck yard and or i'd leave him at the camper and then we lost power at the camper for two days because a line came off the transformer and stuff so anyway uh, uh i'm all over the place here so bear with me but because uh, i'm not going to edit this i'm just going to upload it the way i recorded it so um anyway i was worried about him so um kind of frees up my mind a little bit and I've been able to get some stuff done and uh we've got like I said six more toolboxes for this thing I got to get picked up and um maybe if you'd like to see that that's a chrome shop right down here in town and uh get them picked up and uh, I don't know when that's going to be exactly maybe in the next couple days before I go back to work because today is Tuesday I'm going back to work next Monday I got to go pick up another van for Eric this week uh, maybe I'll record that I'm sure some of you might like to see 
old Bella hooked to a, a van. This one I went and picked up with his truck, one of his other trucks, his company truck. Or it's getting worked on right now, uh, having jig brake issues. So um, it had a, has a broken wire in the jig harness. Uh, it's a signature 600 like Bella is. So I got a spider crawling on my hand. Um, but yeah, we'll be getting the old girl back to work and I'll try and keep you all in the loop. I just really haven't. But the biggest thing is I just get tired of negativity. Um, just people talking crap and people that don't, that don't realize I've been driving truck for 22 years, I guess, cause I'm on YouTube. But if you can't tell, I'm, I'm not exactly a spring chicken. Uh, I'm gonna be 40 in July and been doing it long enough that I don't mind constructive criticism, but when people are just being shitheads, uh, I just don't really, I don't, I'm just tired of it. So, um, it's funny because I get people younger than me telling me I'm an idiot and this and that and the other thing. It's like, check yourself before you wreck yourself, I guess, maybe. And karma's a bitch. So, anyway, uh, tell me what you want to see, I guess. And, uh, drop a comment. Tell me if you want to see the car and the motorcycle and stuff. And maybe I walk through the camper, even though I think it's kind of messy because, you know, bachelor life and uh, not a lot of space. So there's a lot of stuff in there. But, um, uh, and of course, you know, if you want to see more with Jolene, I got a couple parts, uh, still left to put on there. And if you're interested in that, I'll show you after I get it done. I might get that done this afternoon, actually. So, um, Got a few parts actually a bunch of lights that's for sure so um if you want to see that drop a comment let me know or um let me know what you'd like to see if you want to see some of this stuff i do have some footage from us 550 in colorado from before christmas which was the last one of the last loads i took before christmas um i need to get it edited and get it uploaded also we did a ac air conditioning load that I think I have some footage from so I'll, I'll try and get all that thrown together but I'm uh, just recording with my phone figured I'd give you an update while I'm here waiting on Eric and then I can get it uploaded right from my phone so um, safe travels we'll see you in the next one